Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have just the spring cake recipe for you guys. I'll be sharing my pineapple pecan carrot cake with my cream cheese frosting. And this cake is so delicious. It's packed with so much incredible flavor from the pineapple and the carrots. We're gonna add some warming spices like cardamom and cinnamon and then finish it off with my cream cheese frosting. It's so, so good. Now I have a separate video recipe for the cream cheese frosting. I'll leave a link down in the video description box below. Meanwhile, let's get started on this carrot cake batter. In my mixing bowl, I have already cracked four large eggs, and to that I'm going to add in three quarter cups of vegetable oil or canola oil, whichever one you prefer. Add that right in. One cup of white granulated sugar. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to grab my hand mixer and then mix this all together for about three to four minutes until I have a smooth and creamy mixture. And then into this mixture, I'm going to add in one cup of low-fat buttermilk and give that a quick mix. And moving on to my dry ingredients, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground cardamom, and half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Just going to stir that in, and then we're going to sift these ingredients into the cake batter. And then I'll grab my mixer and mix this just until it's incorporated. And now for my final three ingredients, I have half a cup of chopped pecans, one six ounce can of crushed pineapple, make sure you drain it so you don't have all those extra juices, and two large grated carrots and grab a spatula and gently fold everything in. I've lined three eight inch cake pans with parchment paper and then I spray down the sides with the baking spray. I'm going to divide my batter evenly between the three pans. All right, and these are all ready to go into the oven. Mine is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. They're going to bake at that temperature for 25, 26 minutes, and then I'm gonna let them cool completely. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare a batch of my cream cheese frosting. I have a separate Back to Cake Basics video for that, so head on over, watch it, and then come back and watch me decorate my cake with the frosting. My cake layers are completely cooled now. I'm gonna grab a long serrated knife and cut off the top, just level it off so we have nice level cake layers. Going to top each layer off with a generous amount of my cream cheese frosting.
And that's it for my pineapple pecan carrot cake. Absolutely love how it turned out. I added some chocolate garnishes on top. I do have a separate video for that if you wanna learn how to make these little chocolate garnishes that you can add to any cake. And if you want more information about the frosting, the tips that I use, just head on down into that video description box. I'll have the full recipe linked up on my blog so you can print it out and pin it to Pinterest and I'll have all the ingredients listed. Time to dig in and enjoy this. I just love how it looks, it looks so good. Love the bright little pieces of that carrot on the inside. Mm-hmm. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is a true carrot cake. It is loaded with so much incredible flavor. It has that pineapple, the pecans, the carrots. Love the addition of that cream cheese frosting on top. If you're looking for an amazing springtime cake recipe, this is the one. Just head on down to the video description box, get that recipe and make it for the weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.